now students we are going to start the third chapter this one is related to the theories of covalent bonding and shapes of molecules in today's lecture we will learn about that what is meant by the shapes of molecules how important they are which theories they are responsible for the formation or explanation of the covalent bonding within the molecules now here the first one theory is discussed that is called vesper theory its postulates and its applications will be discussed today right now in this chapter you will learn about the theories of the covalent bonding you should know what is meant by the covalent bonding that covalent bonding is done by means of the mutual sharing of electron pairs between the two atoms which molecules they have the covalent bonding in them for example if we have water so it is having covalent bonding in it hydrogen chloride having hydro uh, that is the uh, bonding present in it is covalent one then carbon dioxide methane so many examples are there in which covalent bonds or the sharing of electrons is done between the two bonded atoms so these theories are related with them when these compounds the formulas you write very well but how to explain the shapes of these molecules or how three dimensionally they are being present uh, for which we have three theories in this chapter that first one is vesper theory which is termed as valence shell electron pair repulsion theory which is based upon the uh, lone pairs present within the molecule or the bond pairs which are present within the molecules their interactions their repulsions they will bring about that what type of the structure the molecule will hold or you can say it is the dot and cross models of the substances given by the lewis right which will explain that how the shape or geometry of mo molecule will arise right similarly and the second one theory that is vbt which is discussed further valence bond theory it is called it will give rise the uh, formation of the bonds by means of the overlapping of the orbitals right atomic orbitals you have learned about that of that orbitals in the previous one chapter there are the three types of the orbitals but uh, three types means there can be s p or d or f orbitals four types actually but we are uh, restricted to that of the s and p orbital overlaps right now here further there is the third one theory that is molecular orbital theory which again explains the shapes of the molecule representing the molecular orbitals which are spread all over the molecule right so these theories will explain the different types of the molecules with their shapes which they form right now here the first one topic is the shapes of molecule the lewis concept is basically is going to explain the formation of a covalent bond in the form of the shared pair of electrons between the two bonded atoms while it is not going to give you the shape of the molecule it is just giving you a simple explanation how these electron pairs they are being present within the molecule right now so many factors are there which are responsible for the formation of the shapes that include the bond energy strength of the bonds and the paramagnetic behaviors these all are responsible for the explanation of the shape of the molecules right now here we have the experimental observations which uh, make us to predict that what will be the shape or the geometry of the molecules right now the theories which are mentioned here they will be used to predict that how the formation of the molecules or the geometries of molecules they arise and uh, their properties will also being affected by this geometry the right now here the three theories once again which are given for the covalent bonding they are including the valence shell electron pair repulsion theory that is the pronounced one named as the vesper theory the second one is the valence bond theory 
and the third one is the molecular orbital theory. Here you can see in this diagram which are given over there for some of the molecules, Lewis structures are presented for the chlorofluoromethane, nitric acid, silicon dioxide and that of the SO4-2. It is an ion. You can see in these Lewis structures there is only representation is there that the carbon to the as it is central in this uh, chlorofluoromethane so the bonding with the other atoms is being presented three uh, it is only the one dimensional the two dimensional way where it is being given it is not explaining any shape of the molecule but it is telling you that how the electron pairs are being present over there the two types of pairs are presented here one which are given by means of the lines straight lines between that of the bonded atoms as it is given for carbon and hydrogen uh, in the chlorofluoromethane while you can see here on this chlorine atom and this chlorine atom there are given the pair of electrons that is represented by the dots they represents you the lone pair which are the part of the outermost shell but they are not participating in the reaction they are the paired electrons right now the second one given is the nitric acid you can see here the central atom in the center there is present nitrogen which is linked with three of the oxygen and one of the oxygen is further linked with the hydrogen you know very well that the nitrogen it is holding three electrons with it and uh, uh, which are unpaired along with it there is present a pair of electron in it which is a non-bonding electron pair here nitrogen is utilizing all of its five electrons including the electron pair that I told you that is a non-bonding. Here it is forming two bonds which are given by the single bond with one oxygen and double bond with the second oxygen. These all are the single bonds which are formed by the oxygen uh, by the central nitrogen. Here you can see the number of electron pairs which are present upon the oxygen they are representing you the number of the lone pairs present in the oxygen once again the lone pairs are the number of electrons or the paired electrons which are present in the outermost shell but they are not participating in the formation of covalent bonds with that of the other atoms right here in um, uh, this nitric acid one of electron pair is shared with one of the oxygen atoms completely so making its octet complete right in silicon dioxide you can see two bonds are given with each oxygen atom oxygen with the two of its lone pairs it is being formed right so silicon is making two bonds with each oxygen atom so it is a linear one shape you can see now while the other in this chlorofluoromethane it was tetrahedral type or the in SO4-2 again it is the tetrahedral type but in nitric acid there is present a trigonal shape. So the electron pairs around the central atom they are responsible for the geometries and that of the shapes of the molecules which will be further described now here you can see the theories as i told you earlier that three theories were there among them the first one is valence shell electron pair repulsion theory now listen it very carefully this theory was suggested by sedgwick and powell in 1940 and this was proposed that the shapes or geometries of molecules they depends upon number one number of shared pair of electrons means which are present in the form of the covalent bonds or the straight lines number of lone pair of electrons here you can see there are is present as i told you in methane suppose there are present four hydrogens attached with it here you can see now carbon is holding four electrons with it four electrons with it right now hydrogen is sharing 
one of its electron with it. This one is, for example, it is sharing one of electron with it. This one, blue one colored. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Now, all these are the shared pair between carbon and hydrogen. Right? Now, if I say it is the carbon dioxide, here you can see this is carbon dioxide. As I told you earlier, in oxygen, there are present lone pairs as well. These are the shared pair of electrons and these are the lone pairs which are present. These two both are responsible for the proposed geometry or the shape of the molecule. I hope you understand what the difference is there between the uh, shared pair of electrons and that of the lone pair of electrons. Right? Now the next two further uh, persons who worked on it, Gillespie and Nylon, in 1957 they suggested that the arrangement of atoms in a molecule is determined by the repulsive interactions among the electron pairs in the valence shell of the central atom. Here, in these two molecules, the central atom is carbon, in this case of methane, while in case of carbon dioxide, again it is carbon, to which we say this is the multi-electronic center to which other groups are attached, right? This is the center. And you know very well that electrons, they are having same charge on them. So the electron pairs which are present at a distance from each other, as there are four electron pairs in methane, so there can be repulsions between them as they have same charge. So they want to be apart from each other they will come at such a distance so that the repulsion will, between them will become minimized, right? The shape of a molecule is determined by the location of the nucleus and its electrons. The electrons and the nuclei settle into positions that minimize repulsion and maximize attraction, as I told you. Here are some of the postulates of Vespertheria are given in polyatomic molecules. Polyatomic molecules are those molecules which have more than two or more than three uh, atoms attached with the central atom, right? It consists of that of the central atom, which is a polyvalent atom, to which the other atom, which are making bond with the central one, they are attached, right? Now, the total number of valence and electron pairs desires the shape of the molecule means to the central atom. The number of the bonded pairs which are present surrounding the central atom, they decide what will be the shape of the molecule. Now here the orientation of these electron pairs takes place in such a way in space so that the, the as you know that the electron pairs, they all are the electrons. So the charge on them will be similar. So same charge will repel each other as you know. So that's why the pair of electrons they will retain themselves at such a distance so that the repulsion between them will be minimum and the distance between them will be the maximum. Right? Now the valence shell can be thought of a sphere where in the electron where they are localized. Localizing they have been present on the surface in such a way that the distance between them is the maximum. Now here we have if there are present not only from pair but the other pair of electrons are also present so the symmetry of molecules will be affected. Now here comes the next one. Uh, the central atom if it is surrounded by four means bond pairs and lone pairs as I told you earlier. Bond pairs are the bonded one electron pairs which are present between the central atom and the atom which is bonded to the central. Right? For example, in this molecule that is uh, CH4, here we have C is linked with four of the hydrogen atoms in a tetrahedral geometry. So I will say there are four bond pairs present in this molecule. Each bond pair is formed between carbon and one of the hydrogen. So in total, there are four pair of electrons which are bonded one pair, they are present, right? 
but if I say ammonia, there are present three of the bond pairs that each nitrogen atom is making one of the bond with hydrogen so that there are three nitrogen to hydrogen bond pairs but in the outermost shell of nitrogen there is also present a pair of electrons which is called a lone pair right which is present in the outermost shell but it is not participating in the reaction so it is called a lone pair so there are two types of the pair of electrons present uh, surrounding this central atom that is nitrogen that is bond pairs as well as lone pairs right now the best theory that can be applied to each resonance structure of a molecule resonance structures of the molecules means to say there can be more than one bonds over there that can be the poly uh, bonded one means there can be the double bonds or triple bonds and which can shift over there within the molecule so they are also applicable over there now the strength of the repulsion is strongest in two lone pairs and the weakest one in two bond pairs as i given the example of methane and ammonia now consider an other molecule that is water here you can see the central atom is oxygen to which there are linked two of hydrogen by two bond pairs now it the oxygen still carry two of the lone pairs with it right so you will find there are the three types of repulsions in the molecules that is possible that when only bond pairs are present you will say there is present bond pair to bond pair repulsion this is considered as the weakest repulsion while the second category is look at this ammonia molecule here you will find that there is not only bond pair to bond pair repulsion but there is also present lone pair to bond pair repulsion right as lone pair is the part of the outermost shell so that's why it is also influencing the shape the distance the repulsion between the two atoms the right now here the look at the third one category here this is water molecule in which two of the lone pairs are present and two of the bond pairs are present you will find here all the three types of repulsion right there is present lone pair to lone pair repulsion there is present lone pair to bond pair repulsion there is also present bond pair to bond pair the strongest among them is the bond uh, lone pair to lone pair repulsion while the weakest among them is the bond pair to bond pair repulsion right and this will determine these repulsions they will determine the shape of the geometry whether it is a distorted one or a symmetrical one molecule which is strong right now if the electron pairs around the central atom they are closer to each other they will repel each other so it results in the increase in the energy of the molecule or it destabilizes the molecule right to minimize this repulsion right what these pairs do they move apart from each other so that the repulsion become less among them and the energy of the molecule will become low now here comes the next one look at this chart here it is given that the how many number of pairs are present in a molecule what will be the expected geometry here how many lone pairs if they are present in present in the molecule this is the notation by which the molecule will be presented the central atom is presented with a while the bonded atoms are represented with b right this is the geometry given of the molecule molecular geometry and then the angle which is present among them that is also given the examples of the molecules is also shown right now here you will find there the minimum number of atoms present around that of the central atom is two or you can say two bond pairs are present within a molecule 
and none of the lone pair is present in the molecule. Here it comes, right? No, there will be zero. No electron pair is present in it, right? So the result will be two bond pairs. They want to retain themselves apart from each other at an angle of 180 degrees with a linear geometry, a satisfying geometry, and the example of this type is BeCl2. In this, Be is the central atom that is represented with the red ball, while Cl represented by the side atom, they are green in color, right? So, only one type of repulsion is present in it, that is a bond pair to bond pair repulsion. Now, come to the next one. When three pairs of electrons are surrounding the central atom, the expected geometry is trigonal planar geometry. Right? Now, if all the three are bonded pairs, it is A, B, three type. All the pairs are bonded pairs. And no any lone pair is present in that cube. So the bond pairs with the minimal repulsion will stay from each other at an angle of 120 degree, right? And the geometry will be trigonal plane or triangular. The example of such substances is BCL3. A and CL3 also we get the same shape. Now, there is an exception. If, or you can say there is another possibility that maybe in this AB3 type, the two of them are the bond pairs and one of the lone pair is also present in the two. Then, what to say? Look at the notation. Now, it is AB2E. E represents the lone pair present in the molecule. Right? It is carrying three pair of electrons, but among them, two of them are bond pairs and one of them is the lone pair around the central atom. The shape will be, now no more it will be the trigonal planar, but instead, as one of the place is occupied by the lone pair and it is here. So the shape is only given by the bond pair, which is a bent shaped or V shaped, right? Or you say this one is having two repulsion in it. One is lone pair to lone pair and one, the other one is bond pair to lone pair. Now the angle will be reduced. It was 120 degree when there were three bond pairs present and they all were participating in the determination of the shape. Now here one of the lone pair is present, is present, is affecting the geometry by making the bond pairs to come close together so the angle will be reduced in it, right? less than that of 120 between the bond pair. Remember it. Now the example of this one is PBCL2, SNCL2. We can also have the same geometry. The central atom is PB and the bonded atoms along with it, they are CL2. Lead instead of utilizing its four electron, it has utilized just two electrons to get bonded with the chlorine atom to making two bond pairs and one of the pair of electrons retained as a lone pair. So the geometry given is the bent shape or V shape. Right? Now come to the next. Here some other examples are mentioned. When there are four bond pairs, not only the bond pairs, simply we say if there are present four pair of electrons surrounding the central carbon atom. Then there are these three possibilities. Maybe it is having no lone pair in it. The notation given is AB4, which presents all the attachments are there with the bond pairs so that it is AB4 type 
as four atoms are attached with the central atom making bond with the carbon atoms in center it is the structure of molecule which is three dimensional it is presented over here right the central carbon atom is holding four electron with it all of them are bonded with one electron each from each hydrogen atom so that making four covalent bonds which to get the minimum repulsion among them will assemble themselves or will orient in space at an angle of 1095 from each other right now here all the alkanes they have this geometry that is the tetrahedral geometry this is only possible if all the four pair of electrons they are similar they all are bonded right now if we change one of the here all these are the ch4 four hydrogen atoms if we change one of the hydrogen or replace one of the hydrogen by chlorine or fluorine or some other atom the shape will be a little bit distorted although it will be tetrahedral and it will have four bond pairs but it will be distorted as the occupation due to the electronegative character of the hydrogen will cause change in the shape or distortion of the shape of it right now the second one is consideration the second consideration is when in tetrahedral geometry or uh, in this ab4 type one of the lone pair is also present so the notation will be given as ab3 e e represent the presence of one lone pair among the four total pair of electrons present around the central atom so you can say that the central atom a is holding two bonded atoms that is b and or here it is given as x x3 and one of the lone pair is present it is acted by e now according to the repulsion there are two types of repulsions one which is present between bond pair of electrons and the other one which is present between the bond pair and lone pair lone pair as it is belonging to the central atom it is closer to that of the central atom so it will occupy more space what it will do or how will it will affect the shape it will make the other electron pairs to come close together right it will have more influence on the central atom for the occupation of space so the angle between them will be reduced from 109 to 107 the example given is n h3 right in which nitrogen is the central atom nitrogen has totally five electrons three of them are being bonded with the three hydrogen atoms and one left over is the b uh, is the bonded a lone pair of electron which is present on this nitrogen now here there is another consideration that if the molecule which is holding two bond pairs and two lone pairs that in total there are four electron pairs but two of them are the bonding pairs and two of them are the non bonding or the lone pairs right now what will be the shape of the molecule it is no more a tetrahedral geometry but it is changed it is again a bent form now in this molecule you can see there are present two bond pairs and two lone pairs so all the three types of repulsions are possible that is bond pair to bond pair bond pair to lone pair and lone pair to lone pair as lone pairs will occupy the more space so the bond will become reduced more so that's why we say the angle reduces to 104.5 the example of this category is water h2o right while the geometry of ammonia will be pyramidal geometry. It's just like pyramids. Okay. Now, this, now two more geometries are mentioned here. One, 
which is AB5 type and the other one which is AB6 type as the notation is indicating itself that in AB5 the central atom is linked with 5 of the bond pairs and no any lone pair is present in it. Right? So there are 6 electron pairs which are surrounding the central atom. The expected geometry is trigonal pi pyramidal. Uh, this type of the molecule is having two types of the bond angles in it. One which is present between this one and this one, 90 degrees angle and surrounding these three, they will hold the 120 degrees angle between them. Right? Now the next one is the uh, example of this one is PCL5. The second one is given that is octahedral geometry is formed. This is the octahedral geometry given in which there are present six pair of electrons between the central atom and that of the bonded atoms. Right? So six atoms are attached to the central atom by means of the six bond pairs. So none of the lone pair is still present in it. So this is the geometry for the AB6 type, which is of the hydrogen geometry. And the example of such molecule is SEF6 or SF6. Right? Now here it is given the angle between the bonded pair of electrons to get the maximum distance apart from each other and the minimum repulsion that is 90 degrees, right? So many other molecules are presented in the table given in your book. You have to draw for them all the geometries, right? So that you can get the concept easily. Okay, G? Now, practice these geometries so that you can get the main postulates of Vesper Q. It is all about the Vesper.